lot of pup sore fogwasis san at vlir san in s u vom ap yam ach lim ga k dan sa vlir sang s u vom ngag vlim k sna k ga Ve daf shof om vlim ga vlim ga ga vlim ga snil dwin san ap vlir sang s u vom da Vlim K Snaga. Which is to say, K Bop for Travelers Lesson 19. In this lesson, we'll be learning some more common phrases. I mentioned in Lesson 11 that the formal way to say goodbye would have to wait until we had covered verbs, which we have now done. So, that more formal way is the verb Dan Tui Yak. O San App, which the translation I have generally been given in English is Say Farewell To. To go over the endings that we would typically use with this verb, uh, in general it would be finite in number since there is often just one person speaking, and we would use the unexpected ending if it was a sudden or unplanned departure, but the expected ending otherwise. Mental state varies as mental state does, but uh, normal and rational is a safe bet, as always. And day of the week will be determined by what your day of the week. For me, it is Tuesday. Now, if you are a, an honest human, as I expect would be typical, then you would use larger than a bread box, hopefully, and true. Awesomeness will be rather low unless you are really trying to get rid of some, someone and don't mind insulting them. And the error bar will be relatively low since this is typically followed by immediately departing, unless you're in, say, Minnesota and goodbye might be followed by another half hour of conversation, in which case a rather higher error bar is in order. Thus, if I am saying goodbye to you, we have in total K dan dan tui yakto san ap vlir sang s yan vom Vost grog snaga. Another quite useful verb is feb thal novlog, which means thank. The reasoning for the endings on this verb will be almost exactly the same as the ones for farewell. The difference is being that awesomeness describes your opinion of the thing that you have received, so if you are happy with it, it will be rather higher. And since thanking someone is a performative utterance, is saying it, is doing it, the error bar will almost inevitably be quite low. I honestly cannot think of a situation in which it would be high. So, if you have given me a nice birthday present that I was not that expecting at all, I might respond, I might say, K dan feb fal nuf log vlir sing s yan vom vlim dan.
If you want to specify what it is that you're thanking someone for, you can put it in the in front of case, that is with the gin prefix. This will normally be placed after the verb. In more formal context, you may occasionally encounter this done with the briefcase or the suitcase, but this is relatively rare in normal conversation. If you want to thank someone for something that they have done, rather than a, a, an object, you can do that with a verb string, which we will cover a couple of lessons from. But first, the next lesson will be on tenses. Until then, K dan dan tui yakt o san ap vlir sang s yan vom vost grog snaga.